Hey everyone, this is Cholera once again with Peanut, of course, and we are doing game five of uh, NBC Survivor Group 4. This is Hwasen versus Hero. Uh, this is going to be a Terran versus Protoss on Athena 2, and I think uh, you know a little bit about that matchup on, uh, on this map, right? I know a little bit about that matchup, yes, if you are referring to the SC2GG show match today in which I played <laughs> Protoss against Radivals Terran on Athena 2, then then yes, you would be accurate. Uh -huh. um, so you're I, an expert now on, on, uh, on this map? <laughs> I don't know if I'm an expert exactly. I don't think the game lasted long enough for me to be to be an expert on it. Um, but I know that uh, well, you should you should watch out for drops if you're playing against Terran, especially if those drops are filled with vultures. Yeah, like an um, annoying Terran. Only annoying yeah. Terrans do that. Seriously. Oh, look at Hero. <laughs> he's he's positively he's ready to go. I mean, he's oh look at him, look at him. I like this guy. He's yawning, stretching, getting himself all comfortable, and he's going to need it because he's facing uh, Hwasen. By the way, in, in Korean, does Hwasen mean peanut also? Or is that no. completely not, uh, completely off? Um, what does Hwasen in... mean? Uh, something spirit. I can't remember exactly. I was told once, but in peanut in Korean is dankong, so it's it's actually totally Oh, different. okay. In Chinese, it's Hwasen. You know? <laughs> yeah, right. Um, right. But uh, anyway, this is... Uh, Gonna be a Athena 2 fight, so uh, this is a Protoss player here, Hero V, at the 6 o'clock. Um, he is, I think, 45% against uh, Terran, whereas Midas is, a, I'm sorry, not Midas, Hwasen is 46% uh, against Protoss. Uh, it's Hwasen's weakest lineup, um, so it's gonna be a really close game, I think, between these two. And uh, we'll see if, um, you know, we see a lot of the aggression that Hero showed in game 2 where he just went for a ridiculous amount of great drops, and it was just uh, really, really strong with his shuttle play. Um, we'll see if that happens. Yeah, and I mean, um, it, Hwasen's aggressive play um, in the last game was also notable, so we'll see if he pulls out any of those tricks for that, too. So it might be, you know, crazy aggressiveness versus crazy aggressiveness, and that's always fun. Yeah, that's absolutely always fun. Um, it's definitely better than the you know the very long macro wars that some of these uh some of these games can become um but athena 2 does have a tendency to become like that sometimes uh just because it does sort of lend towards longer games i think especially if the if the tyrant fast expands safely and then the protoss gets a contain on and then uh you know it can go for a long time but uh you know of course that that could be very different from what happens here um seeing uh, you know pretty standard opening obviously uh no proxies or anything there's the gateway and the simulator going down and, uh, yeah, we'll probably, from, from Hero in the first game he played, he went for this uh, kind of a two-gate rush there into a very uh, strange kind of observer first build. But it actually worked out fine yeah. because he did massive damage with his Reaver, nonetheless. <laughs> yeah, so do you think it's yeah, actually that... true that, uh, by the random question, but that girls like Protoss as they're, you know, they just like playing Protoss more? Uh, um, uh, I would say not large enough sample size to tell, <laughs> um, and this is, this is a good time to know, you know, ladies, if you're out there and you like StarCraft, you could be convinced into liking StarCraft, Cholera is available, and he's a very popular YouTube commentator, and, and I, I oh, personally know how to track that that is, yeah, no, well, you know, I'm, I'm just, you promote wow, me, just... I promote you too. All right, all right. So I'm getting a, a very, uh, I guess that was a decent promotion. You said I was a very attractive because of my YouTube commentating. That's it, though. Uh, and that's uh, a suitable, I mean... by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I could be an attractive person in person, too, but you don't know. You that's just know true. My, my I don't know yet. smooth voice. Yeah. E and yeah, oh, the the number of of uh, subscribers on your YouTube channel page and the number of views. It's Man. so big. Oh, Man, it's so, it's big. so big. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> say that a couple more times. But uh, no. <laughs> all right, we're gonna see a DT rush here. Uh, in all seriousness, so Hero is following up with his uh, his pattern of aggression, and he's got that nice. You saw that the nice zealot on the ramp there. So he is not gonna mm -hmm. allow anything up there. There's no way that um, you know, Hwasen's gonna need his uh, spider senses to be tingling to sense this coming. Uh, you know, and oh, proxy gateway actually this location. I was gonna think possibly wow. 
it, yeah, it could have been, well, no, actually Proxy Gate makes more sense than Proxy Robo, but he's going to be going for a straight DT rush here, ground fight here, and uh, we're seeing the fast expand, meanwhile, going up for Midas, so this is going to be really bad for him, uh, I'm sorry, for Hwasan, keep calling him Midas, uh, but yeah, this is going to be really bad for him, I think, because he's going to have n pretty much nothing to prepare about. Actually, a robotics facility is going up also, so I guess if it fail, if the ground push fails, he's going to try dropping. Uh, most likely, we're going to see um, Vulture's coming out here, although if he goes tank first, it's going to be so hard. If he goes siege mode first, I mean, it is going to be so hard for him to win this game, uh, or to survive the next few minutes, but I, I'm going to guess it's uh, Vulture Mines first, which will give him a good shot. Yeah, yeah, at least those those Vulture Mines will be able to uh, take out those Star Templar, um, which is actually also something that happened to me today in my matchup against Radival. Oh, it's right, kinda... at the very end. Yeah, at the very end. Well, you yeah. also had a you had a total of zero probes at that time when your DTs came out, so... <laughs> That's very true. It made me sad. Total, yep, zero probes. Oh, there's the first Dark Templar coming out right now. That's right. Bisu cries a little when uh, when things like that happen. Uh, Bisu was crying Bisu, for you today. Bisu was Bisu crying saw for the game, me? Yeah, oh. for you. Well, I'll when I next time I see Bisu, I'll tell him to watch that game, and he'll give you some hints, and you can beat Rad. Anyway, here comes the attack. DT is going in. Hwasan knows they're coming though. Uh, looks like they're going to go right from the middle there, and he's a uh, he's going to try to take down as many turrets, I guess, as possible. Meanwhile, he's going for the SCVs. He's going to just try to uh, win by taking out the turrets, um, or I guess just by the SCVs. He's not even caring about them. <laughs> Hwasan's yeah. forced to pull here. Oh, this is not good at all for Hwasan. Hwasan does have a natural up, though, so never mind. He is pulling somewhere. I thought he didn't have anywhere to pull. Oh, eats one mine. Uh, is he going to eat another one? Looks like... No, he's there's no mines left, actually. So Hwasan in big trouble now. Yeah, definitely. That that Dark Templar is really running amok, and... Uh, uh, even even though Hwasan um, oh, seems sort of prepared... Oh, but he Ooh. just got in range. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He seemed kind of prepared for it, but just it just wasn't enough there. And so here, here comes the Congo line of SCVs coming back, but there's another Dark Templar on the move. Yeah, and he, he's been lucky so far. This is what we we're talking about. Luck and so oh, we we're talking about luck in StarCraft. That is one, uh, I guess, an Irish uh, <laughs> DT there. That is one lucky DT. He walked past four mines within millimeters of detonation, but uh, he's still alive. Um, he knows he can't attack though because there there is that uh, turret there at the natural. So mm -hmm. I think he did some damage. I don't know if it's necessarily going to be game 